Hello, and welcome to the KickServe Academy. I'm Pete, your KickServe support guy. I'd like to quickly show you how easy we have made creating an estimate or opportunity is. We typically provide multiple paths to accomplish processes in KickServe. The more direct path to create an opportunity is to click on the big plus sign in the upper left and add new. A window will appear and you will choose new opportunity. First, you are going to select from the service drop-down your general service that you are going to estimate on for your customer. Use the description box to thoroughly explain to your customer what your scope of work will be. Moving down to the who is this for section, you will make a decision. Is this an existing customer or a new customer? I do explain how to create new customers in another video. For the sake of time, let's assume the customer record has already been created by your office booker, and this is a repeat customer. A customer returning to get more service from you. You are then just simply going to start typing in the contact box and watch for our type ahead and suggestions for possible customer records to appear below. Now simply click on the big green save opportunity button. You have just created your first unassigned, unscheduled opportunity. Congratulations. We clearly display the service or job type and the opportunity number. Then there will be the customer's name and address. Then in a light gray is your original estimate description. After the estimate description, we have the opportunity status. Until you schedule the estimate, this status will be a gray new status. Notice this status change as soon as we create our first estimate event for this opportunity. Now off to the right, an opportunity event is created by clicking schedule estimate. From the left to the right, you have your start date, then your end date, and end time. The event description field is an ideal place to put your specific event reminders for your tech or assignee. Such things like wear your house booties or ask for online reviews. Get signatures for starting work, for example. Task type is automatically selected for you. Since this is an opportunity, the task type will be estimate. Lastly, the assign to field is a drop down of all employees that you have indicated on their profile that they can be assigned work. Over to the green add event. And if you need another event, choose schedule estimate again to add another separate event to this opportunity. Quickly, notice the added features of the event. The drop down megaphone is where you can notify employees of the event via text and email, send details of the event to your customers via email and alert to your customers that your tech is on the way via text and email. To the right, you can add a reminder. The reminder is great for when it is an event for something sort of supportive of the opportunity or job itself, but not actually doing the estimate. Examples the reminder is best for are call back customer, file paperwork, send customer thank you card, etc. Also, a real tangible difference is how a reminder is displayed on the calendar compared to an opportunity event. A reminder has the thumbtack and an opportunity is a piece of paper and folder-like symbol. The reminder on the calendar will have the reminder description directly under your client's name for ease of reading. Next, we're going to build our estimate. Click Add a Charge. A window will pop up. That window is labeled Add Charge. The first drop-down will have all your items. That box is actually a type ahead. So if you start to type your item's name, your drop-down will narrow its list. There is a large plus sign next to your drop-down item list. That is a feature that can be used to add new items to your item list. This feature can only be used if you are not syncing with QuickBooks or Xero. You are going to see your default item description and you can rewrite it here or even add to it. Tabbing again to the job charge type, here's a chance to sort of tag this line charge to give you a sense of what you could use this for as many of our customers wanted a way to report on warranty charges. Tabbing again, you come to the price. This is not the cost, 
but the price you are going to charge your customer for this item at this time. This field is editable. Below the price is the taxable indicator box. This is not a checkable box. This box is only an indicator if this item was marked taxable or not from the item list or from within QuickBooks or Xero before it's synchronized over to KickServe. We will discuss how to manage exempt customers at another time. Tabbing further will allow you to indicate how many or what the quantity is of the item, hours or number of, and the total box is automatic. It will calculate once you have all the fields filled out. You have a line charge now. Simply click Add a Charge again to add another line charge. With your estimate created, you can now present it to your customer. Again, we have multiple paths to accomplish this. If your tech is on the job site with a mobile device, they could click View Estimate and view the estimate there, or go a step further to make the presentation cleaner and click Preview and present your estimate that way. You can capture a live signature on your mobile device, or you can decide to email this estimate to your customer. The customer can view the estimate from their self-service portal and sign and approve the estimate online. Either the customer or the tech will indicate that the estimate is approved and mark this estimate as one, which will put this estimate into the new job bucket unassigned and unscheduled. And that is the most direct path to creating an estimate. It's that easy.